A reading from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verse 1 to 2, 8 to 19. Brothers and sisters, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Because of it, the ancients were well attested. By faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he sojourned in the promised land as in a foreign country, dwelling in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and maker is God. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age. And Sarah herself was sterile, for he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as countless as the sands on the seashore. All these died in faith. They did not receive what had been promised, but saw it and greeted it from afar and acknowledged themselves to the strangers and aliens on earth. For those who speak thus show that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of the land from which they had come, they would have had opportunity to return. But now they desire a better homeland, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, Abraham when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac, descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The Word of the Lord a reading from the Holy Gospel of St. Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, Let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was great calm. Then he asked them, why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even wind and sea obey? This is the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, faith is a free gift from God. We all of us received this faith Thank to our parents, our ancestors, or our friends. Still for all, faith was given to us by our good Lord himself 
as a free gift. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's first reading, which is taken from the letter of, letter of Hebrews, the author of the letter of Hebrews explains what faith is all about. According to the author of the letter to the Hebrews, faith is the assurance of what is hoped for, and it is the conviction of what is unseen. My dear friends, in Jesus Christ, the giants of faith like Abraham, Zara, they had the assurance of what they hoped for. They had the conviction of what is unseen. That is why they were ready to do whatever the good Lord asked them to do in their life. As a family of faith, they undertook a journey towards an unknown land by leaving the father's heritage. It is mainly because they had faith in their family. And when they were old and when they were not in a state to have a child, when God gave them a promise that they are going to have their own child, they believed in God's word because they had faith. And having received an heir to their family, Isaac, when God asked Abraham to sacrifice his only son, he was ready to do that because he had the assurance of what is hoped for and he had the conviction of what is unseen. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, we see how the disciples of Christ lost faith having faced a windstorm. They were crossing to the other side of the lake together with, a, together with Jesus through a boat. When the windstorm attacked or hit this boat, they got afraid and they lost faith. Jesus was sleeping. Even though Jesus was sleeping, Jesus was inside the boat of disciples. But the disciples, they lost faith and they began to complain to their master. Master, don't you know that? Don't you care that we are perishing? My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, at times certain windstorms attack and hit our lives. Those windstorms can be our poverty, our hunger, our thirsty, and our suffering, our sicknesses. Sometimes we, when these windstorms attack us, hit us, we too complain and we too scream to God saying, Master, don't you care that we are perishing? My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, just as Jesus responded his disciples who lost faith amidst of that chaotic situation. He responds to us whenever we lose faith. Don't you have faith still? Don't you have faith still? Therefore, let us try to have faith not only in good times, but at the bad time, but also during bad times as well. Just as Abraham, just as Zara, let us try to become giants of faith who have and who had the assurance what they hope for, who had the conviction of what is unseen. Amen.